Okay, so let's get into what the gist of this chapter is about. That being traveling salesperson. They call it traveling salesman. Problem in the book, but I'm going to be nice. Thanks. Salesperson. <coughs> traveling salesperson problem. And we're going to talk about one of the algorithms to figure out the best route. Um, it's actually the only algorithm that guarantees you to get the best route, and that's the brute force algorithm. Okay, but it's an inefficient algorithm because it's not very good if n in the kn gets that big. This is k4, so it's not that hard to use the brute force algorithm. But for like k20, even if you have a computer, it's probably not great. Um, K20 would be, you couldn't do it by hand using the brute force algorithm. You wouldn't even really want to do it for K8, probably, but definitely not by hand. Um, so in the upcoming sections of the book, there's other algorithms that we're going to use that are efficient but don't necessarily give you the best route, but they give you a good route. But right now we're going to talk about the brute force algorithm. Please be reading the book too. Don't just watch my videos or the videos on the Pearson website. You really have to follow along with the book. Also don't forget <clears throat> that when you watch a video, whether it's my video or a Pearson video, you can take notes. You can also take notes while you're reading the book. So. The only way that you're going to really probably thoroughly understand everything is if you read, take notes while you're reading, watch videos, take notes while you're watching videos, and do the assigned homework, and ask questions if you have questions. Okay, so let's try to find the best route. Now, I just made up this problem, and I just picked random numbers. Hopefully, there's one route that's better than... Um, the other ones. We want to actually find the best route here. So, we're a traveling salesperson traveling, let's just say that this is our headquarters here. And we want to know, does it make sense to go from A to B, then B to C, then C to D, then back to A, or is there a different route that's better? Well, <clears throat> In the first route that I could take, we're going from A to B, which is 25. I'm not going to label these numbers. This could mean that it's 25 miles from A to B. It could mean that it costs $25 for whatever reason to go from A to B. Or it could be even something else. So B to C is 60. C to D is 45. And then D back to A is 50. So we have 85, 130, 180. <clears throat> now you're going to think, oh, this is kind of, even though it's only six things, it's kind of hard to do. Um, but notice that one of these other routes is actually the same thing, but this one in reverse. So if you look, A, D, C, B, A, this one and this one are actually the same thing. One's just reversed. It does count as a different, it does count as a different tour or route. So you have to write it down. But it's going to have the same mileage or cost to do. So you really are only going to have to do three because each one of these has a reverse. This one has a reverse. It's A, C, D, B, A. It's this one right here. So each one is going to have like an opposite reverse path, which will have the same numerical value. So A to the next one is A to B. 25, B to D, B to D, that's what this 40 is, 
D to C, 45. Then C to A. We got 80, 120, 145. What did I say was the reverse one? A, C, D, E, A, A, A. Okay. So far, that's the best one. Let's look at this one. A to C, <coughs> 35. C to B, 60. D to D, 40. D to A, 185. That's the worst one. <clears throat> so, the best route using the brute force algorithm is A to B, B to D, D to C, and C to A. Okay, so, in review, to do the brute force algorithm, you just list out every possible Hamilton circuit, calculate the cost, of each Hamilton circuit, then pick the one that has the least cost. Obviously it gets harder when uh, the number of vertices goes up, but we wouldn't do it for obviously K8 or 9 or higher than that. Even for K5, you'd have 4 factorial which is 24 of these. So it, you wouldn't want to have to do that by hand. So you just write down every Hamilton circuit, then calculate the cost of each one, then pick the best one. Easy peasy. All right, so that's the brute force algorithm, traveling salesperson problem using the brute force algorithm. Next we're going to talk about nearest neighbor algorithm and the cheapest link algorithm and possibly the repetitive nearest neighbor algorithm. That one is basically just like the nearest neighbor algorithm. So I might not really cover that in great detail, but please read about it. And if there's videos on Pearson, please do look at those also. Awesome.